from brass bands to acrobatic balloonists, all sorts of performing arts. Today's unveiling of the new Hitachi plant in Newton Aycliffe represents £82 million of investment, all to make these. State-of-the-art, very high-speed trains and a return of rail manufacturing to the northeast. This is a story of success for this company. Congratulations on, on winning the very competitive contract for the new trains. Uh, thank you for making those trains here in the UK. Uh, I think that is a huge boost of confidence for British manufacturing and particularly the rail industry. It's also a huge uh, sign of success for the north of England and particularly the northeast. Covering 43,000 square miles, that's more than six football pitches to you and me, the Hitachi Rail Facility is set to create 730 new jobs, which showcases the vision that Chancellor George Osborne and Prime Minister David Cameron have for the much-talked-about Northern Powerhouse. It is a real pleasure to be here today to help open this facility. Later today I'm going to Portugal as part of my European renegotiation, but I was not going to miss this for the world. This is Hitachi's first factory in Europe, and their massive investment is a sign of their commitment to the United Kingdom. Train manufacturing has come back to the Northeast. It is great to be adding to the history of rail in the Northeast that goes back to George Stevenson, the father of railways. So, what does the return of rail manufacture of such magnitude herald for the region and the global manufacturing market? Obviously, today is quite exciting, so people can see inside officially for the first time. Uh, you can see the trains uh, which are behind me at the moment, which is actually what we'll start to produce uh, from November. I mean, the most obvious thing that we're bringing is the 700 jobs, or over 700 jobs, but obviously in the future that will mean a lot more for supply chain and everything else. I think it just shows a pride in manufacturing or shows the, the strength that we have in manu manufacturing, and certainly in the northeast we have a you know, proud uh, manufacturing history, so we're very pleased to be joining that. Mark Patterson for Made in Tyne and Weir in Newton Aycliffe.